Hi, this is Kelly. I'm here to show you um, one last video tutorial. Um, this is for tracing paper dolls when a simple trace in studio doesn't quite work well enough. Um, and Elsa here is a good example because she has a lot of white and light colored um, parts of the image on the edges. Okay, and so this one does require um, Photoshop or Photoshop elements. So first I have Elsa opened the PDF in Photoshop Elements, just the first page. Um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to File, Save As. I'm going to change it to a PNG file and I would name it Elsa. I go with the um, No Interlace option. And just wait for it to process. All right, now I'm going to make a black and white version um, so it has something stronger to trace. So I'm going to make sure my layer is selected. I'm going to go up to Edit, Fill Layer. I want to use black, normal blending mode, 100% opacity, and check the box for preserve transparency. Click OK. And now you have all of the um, pieces filled with black. And this works on a um, PDF file that has a transparent background. So the only thing um, filled with color was just these sections of the paper doll. Uh, if you have a white background, this isn't going to work. OK, so. Now we want to save this again. File, Save As, again a PNG. And this one we would name something like Elsa Black. OK. All right, now we are done with Photoshop Elements. Open Silhouette Studio. Find the folder where you have um, saved these. We're going to go with Elsa. Just drag it over. Um, you can see in the bottom there, it, as you hover it, it's going to open. And now we want to open the black version also. Just drag it from the folder um, other, onto another spot on your studio workspace. Okay, so now we have all of these. Color one I'm going to move off to the side. Black and white. I'm just going to bring to the center of the page. Now for our paper dolls we use the trace function over here in the trace window. Select trace area. Drag around what you want to trace. Uncheck high pass filter. We're going to move our threshold up just to make sure it gets um, everything. And I think with Elsa right around 80% is good. And now up here for paper dolls we use trace and detach. And oftentimes this takes just a minute. So we will wait. Okay, now we're going to hold our shift key click on each one of these major sections, her torso, her arms, her head, snowflakes. Okay, so I have all those selected. Now I can drag them off to the side and we can select these, all these extra little pieces, and delete with the delete key. These also would be good to group together, so I'm going to um, select them again and Control or Command G. I'm going to bring this back to the center of the page now that I've gotten rid of the extra things in the background. I'm going to change my line color to red. I'm going to change my fill color to blank. That gets rid of the black. Now here's an important step. You need to bring it to the front. 
so here's this little button on the bottom. I want to move this to my front layer. Okay, now the colored Elsa, I'm going to bring in and just get her pretty close. And I'm going to zoom in and make sure that my red outline, my line color, um, is surrounding those appropriately and it looks pretty good. Uh, you can use your arrow keys with the piece selected. You can use your arrow keys to move them up just tiny nudges. Okay, so I'm going back to my full page view, fit to window. I'm going to select everything, drag a box around it. Now I'm going to my modify window and select crop. You notice the line colors have disappeared, but what that has done is taken my trace cut lines and has cropped out um, everything except the colored pieces. And here I'm going to go again to change my line color to red. And now you can see, or you may have noticed before, that you have some pieces that don't belong, that the silhouette wants to cut some pieces that you don't want to cut. So here's where you're going to go in and do point editing. So I will click off to the side and I will click, double click on this to get my point edit mode. You can select individual pieces and delete them one point at a time. So on the torso, on the top of the skirts, you will need to do some point editing um, to bring those closer to what they should be. You also might need to fix a little bit of Elsa's hair. There's some jagged marks. Just double click. You can delete what you want. I'm not going to go through all of this here, but just know that that is an option so you can clean up some of these um, bits that are a little jagged. And part of the problem was that her hair is so light. Okay. So now we have um, cut lines. You can see them. You can turn them off if you want if that bothers you. The red line color won't actually print. Now we need to go to our cut style window for all paper dolls. Um, choose cut edge and you can see still here I would go back and um, remove some of those, fix some of those points so it's not cutting where you don't want it to. Now we will just turn our page size to the size for your printer. Go to your registration marks, turn them on, and um, you can give yourself a little more room. But these pieces can all be arranged individually now, um, since they have cut lines assigned to them. You can just make sure they all fit in the page, and then you're ready to print and to cut, and that's all.